Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today we're talking about Shaper 3D and the Apple Vision Pro. I was lucky enough to be flown to Budapest to try the new spatial computing version of Shaper 3D's modeling and visualization software. After meeting the other attendees, founder and CEO Ishvan Janadi gave a slick presentation condensing the past eight years of Shaper 3D into its milestone moments, starting from an iPad app, expanding to PC and Mac, adding technical drawings, adding real-time visualization, and last year, adding a parametric feature tree. I actually have a video about that parametric feature tree and how you can use it, so watch that up in the top corner. What's the obvious step after that? Well, Istvan explained that he'd been a VR skeptic, but the Apple Vision Pro changed his perception. So, the next logical step was to create Shaper 3D for the spatial computing age. Unlike other headsets and CAD programs, this isn't a VR workflow in which you must re-optimize CAD to create new low-poly versions, duplicating the CAD workload. Shaper 3D on the Apple Vision Pro uses native modeling with native real-time rendering shared in a 3D space. It's fully editable CAD with the feature tree and the AR model updates instantly. This seamless workflow is a game-changer for human-scale objects like the car dashboard shown here in the presentation. One person hosts a shared session, and they're the ones who have model editing and material application features. Every team member using their own Vision Pro can see the updates live, making it easier for the entire team to understand and contribute. Stakeholders or other departments who don't communicate in 3D every single day can all understand the forms instantly. The shared AR model works over local networks so everyone can participate in the same room. I asked if a headset in the office could be shared with a headset in a different location, and I was told that it's not a launch feature for now, but it is in the pipeline. I think that this feature would really open up many collaboration opportunities with clients in other countries and even industrial designers working from home away from the office. We then saw a great interview with Kenwood's design director, Samuel Maida, in it, he explained that he started using Shaper 3D personally to open up and convert a step file on a flight. And it quickly spread throughout the whole company to become a fully supported program for all designers. Then it was finally time to try the Vision Pro myself. Of course, I've watched the reviews and the first impressions on YouTube, but using it is incomparable and indescribable. Before the trip, I got an emergency optician's appointment to get hold of some contact lenses, and this was the first time in my life that I'd worn any contact lenses at all, and here I was about to step into the world of spatial computing. I've never used a VR headset with clear vision before, as my eyes are pretty bad to say the least. I can only see out of one eye, and even then, that one has a prescription of plus four. Anyway, the clarity of the Vision Pro blew me away, and the real-time rendered reflections of the car dashboard were compelling. I wore the headset for about 10 minutes, and the weirdest part of the experience wasn't during the session, but when I took the Vision Pro off and saw the dashboard wasn't really there, it just disappeared, and that was honestly the weirdest part. I also saw fellow Instagram friends, Carter Magaya, and the lovely folks over at Cancri Design. They also tried the headset, so head to their Instagram pages to find out what they think. And with that, it was time to head for lunch, followed by the most wholesome afternoon. Everyone at the event attended a personal walking tour of Budapest from Istvan. Yes, the founder and CEO of Shaper 3D walked us around his city and showed us all the sites, providing history and facts along the way. We racked up 20,000 steps walking through the streets on the Pest side, climbing the hills on the Buddha side, and through the castle districts before finishing back up at the parliament building where we started. The long weekend was fantastic in Budapest, from exploring the streets, restaurants, bars and baths, to experiencing the future of CAD modeling and collaboration with spatial computing pioneered by Shaper 3D. I've been using Shaper 3D since the early days of the iPad app. I actually shared my first YouTube video featuring Shaper 3D in 2020, but I was using it much earlier than that. Witnessing their progress, listening to designer feedback, and creating a game-changing program has been amazing to see. I'm so excited to watch what they create next. 
Thank you to the whole Shaper 3D team for inviting me along.